What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we're looking at the brand new Donkey Kong action figure by Jack Specific. So this is their brand new Donkey Kong figure in the 4 inch line. In 2014 we only had the 6 inch one. That series also had Bowser, Ganondorf, and then the Metroid. Well since that line isn't going anymore, they finally made a brand new Donkey Kong figure. But this time he's going to be smaller now compared to the other figure. I'm guessing they did this to have him scale a bit better with the Mario characters or other Nintendo characters, uh, which is great, but man, I wish they took advantage of giving him his own unique packaging by making it a bigger size than just giving him the same style of packaging like the other figures, because I get this feeling he's going to be a bit too small, but we'll see how he looks when we get to the comparison. So let's take a look at the packaging real quick. So this is how Donkey Kong uh, looks in the packaging right here. He comes with the bananas, which is uh, the same bananas he got in like the two and a half inch figure. And I think uh, Diddy Kong also came with that as well. But, you know, this is like the new packaging uh, for Donkey Kong right here. I'm guessing they're going to do this if they if they're going to make more Donkey Kong characters. I'm assuming I hope they do because, man, a, a four inch Dixie Kong figure is something I really want. But, you know, Donkey Kong, Jack Specific look right there. There's the bottom. And then here's the back. We get an image of the figure right there. Get a bar read right here. And then it just shows pictures of the articulation. And it has uh, 13 points of articulation. And Diddy Kong is also in this set. I didn't really need a Diddy Kong figure. I know he comes with like a new accessory, but I'm not going to get the figure just for a new accessory. But yeah, Diddy Kong is also in this uh, wave. I guess it's going to be like the two waves and or the two figures in one wave, really. Uh, similar to like what they did with the. Uh, the new uh, Legend of Zelda figures. But yeah, that's how the packaging is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this out of the packaging and take a closer look. Okay, so here's the Donkey Kong figure out of the box right here. So I will say like the scope on this guy is pretty solid in some spots. I am a little mixed on some things, but I also got to remember this is just a $10 figure. So, uh, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of crazy things going on here but i will say like this is probably like the best cheapest donkey kong figure you can get because donkey kong doesn't really have a whole lot of figures and uh, you know he hasn't gotten a figure in a while now either so i feel like if you don't have like a donkey kong figure in your collection this will probably be the best one to get for now but for 10 bucks this guy isn't too bad but there are still some weird uh, thing is going on with this figure so I have him in this pose because what's cool is that you can't have him in a pose for him to just be on his two feet right here uh, but you know I feel like you're mainly going to display him with him doing the gorilla stance because that's usually what Donkey Kong does and he looks kind of odd by standing on his uh two feet right there so if I can just get him situated right here this would probably be um you know the best stance right here for Donkey Kong as you can see so I can put him in something like this and you can have the head look up a little bit so I feel like that's probably going to be the best way to well <laughs> display Donkey Kong really is being in the stance because uh, the only time Donkey Kong is usually on his two feet is I guess if he's like I don't know maybe beating on his chest or whatever right or like doing a victory but you know you rarely see him standing like that and he looks kind of odd standing on his on just his two feet right here um, it's kind of hard to get him to stand too sometimes, but um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what I, I feel like that's what he's he's gonna be designed for is to just to be in the gorilla stance, but it's still pretty cool overall. So the tie right here is actually a separate piece. It is actually a really soft material right here. Um, it's kind of like a soft plastic. I want to say I don't know if it's like really rubber, but it is a soft plastic, and the paint on it looks pretty nice. I like the paint. On the DK logo right there. It's actually a really uh, nice material for the tie. Uh, he does have like the fur details around the figure, all around, you know, the brown uh, plastic mold uh, on the plastic here, along with the head. Now, the eyes, the paint job around the eyes isn't the best on my figure. Uh, you know, the white, it looks like it's kind of fading off to the side. It doesn't really look the best, but the teeth doesn't look too bad i feel like the head sculpt on this guy is actually pretty good i think this is a really good head sculpt for donkey kong maybe the best head sculpt for donkey kong maybe now for the articulation so the head is really just on a regular ball peg so you can have donkey kong look up about here which is good for, to put him in that gorilla stance and then uh, look down not so much due to the way how the mouth is and it's like uh, hindering that to hit in the chest right there 
Uh, you do get a full rotation out of that. For the shoulders, they go up about here. And then you can bring them down and then you do have a full rotation out of that. There is single jointed elbows. They're actually just on a fixed hinge. So you have your elbows which just goes about here. There is a swivel to the wrist. But the way how like this is sculpted like for the fur it's really odd. Like it's really thick and when you put the hand up uh, the hand is like still sticking out. So it doesn't really look the best. It kind of looks like... He's giving you a thumbs up. I don't know if he's supposed to be doing that, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like that in a way. So it looks kind of weird. But yeah, the way how this is sculpted it looks weird. It almost looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup, the way how they got it like that. I don't know why they didn't just sculpt it onto the hand, but I don't know. Uh, there is no ab crunch. The World of Nintendo one that had the ab crunch, but this one doesn't. However, this one has the knee joints, and that one didn't. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so for the hips, they can really just kick forward, but they also like kick out to the side if you want to bring it more, because uh, you know they're really just on ball sockets. So you know you can have them kick out to the side like that. Really, uh, he can't really kick back though. And of course you have your single jointed knees with the pins right there, and then the ankles. They're just on a small ball peg. It's not a whole lot you can really do with them except rotate them, but. Uh, the, the issue is is that while he looks good in this stance when I compare him let me just bring in Mario for example uh, you know like this this is the biggest disappointment right here because Mario is still looking down on this guy so <laughs> you know it just doesn't look the greatest honestly uh, I mean he's still going to be taller than Mario if I obviously if I put his legs if I have him standing on both his feet I don't know if I can get him to stand uh, okay, there you go. And I put Mario up. Obviously, you know, he's definitely going to be like on tower over Mario. But, I mean, you know, Donkey Kong is rarely on his two feet like that. You know, he should he should really be like oversizing Mario like this even when he's in this stance. Because Donkey Kong is like a big gorilla. Uh, I don't know exactly how tall he is. But, he, I mean, he's a, he's a big ape, you know. Like, he should be like looking down on Mario instead. So I feel like this is probably just going to be best for the two and a half inch figures. And uh, of course the accessory is the banana. You know, it's basically the same accessory that came in like the first release of the Diddy Kong figure. And then that two and a half inch Donkey Kong figure that you would see like five below or whatever. So here's another comparison right here. So here's Donkey Kong next to Diddy Kong, which would also be in this set. And even then, like these two don't even really look that great. Now Diddy Kong is fine like this. He's usually like standing on his legs most of the time. But even if I wanted to put him in like the same stance as Donkey Kong, if I can uh, try to really do that, I don't usually pose him like this. But even if I wanted to do something like that, he still looks <laughs> still too big. Uh, with Donkey Kong as you can see like it still doesn't even look that great um, I thought this still looked good uh, with the six inch uh, six inch Bowser figure but then watch when I bring in like the two and a half inch Diddy Kong like this actually looks okay you know I actually like this a little bit better and like sometimes Diddy Kong would be on like uh, Donkey Kong's back so like this could still work I mean I don't know if he's gonna really stay on there but I think like this actually looks okay. So I'll put Diddy Kong right here. And then I'll add in, you know, like Cranky Kong. Right? And then I'll add in like Dixie Kong. And I, I believe that was the I think that was the only two and a half inch Donkey Kong figures they made. I think I wanna say. But uh, I mean yeah, Donkey Kong I think he scales a little bit better. Uh, with the two and a half inch figures i feel like he definitely scales a lot better with these let me actually bring in some more okay so here is like uh let's see i'll bring in like mario again i'll put mario right here right here maybe uh here is like luigi these are like the articulated figures the newer ones we'll put peach right here since she's a little bit taller uh here's like yoshi um and then, uh, I, think, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put Toad. I'll just put Toad, like, maybe right here or so. I don't know, something like that. But I feel like uh, he doesn't look too bad with the minifigures, honestly. 
because obviously with the four inch figures he you know he just doesn't really fit well with them honestly and even if you want to compare him with like um other world nintendo characters like you know like the legend of zelda or metroid i still feel like he wouldn't even look that great here's a comparison to the six inch donkey kong figure i still do like this figure i just hated how like the hands and then the feet they didn't match the color on like the face and then the chest and i also didn't like how big they made his head really but other than that the figure wasn't too bad like this is probably still going to be my go-to figure uh for like my smash brothers display and like you know comparing it with the uh, four inch mario figures uh this one i'm probably just going to use for the two and a half inch figures because of how small it really is but I, I will say i like the scope on this one uh more than how this one is honestly i will say that but articulation wasn't a huge difference either uh this one had the ab crunch it just didn't have uh, any like articulation um in the knees uh, while this one does, but it doesn't have the ab crunch as this one did. So this one, it was a little bit easier to put him in the gorilla position. And you were still able to have him stand on both his feet, really. I mean, he's a big guy, so it's hard to get him all on frame here. But again, I didn't really have much of an issue with this figure. It was really just how big they made his head, really. But you can see how these two uh, look next to each other. So yeah, I, I really did uh, still like this Donkey Kong figure. Uh, but that head sculpt though was, uh, I wasn't really a fan of that one. And then uh, here's just another quick comparison. So here's like the two and a half inch Donkey Kong figure uh, if you want to see how that looks. Here's Donkey Kong next to Waluigi and Wario. And then let me add in these figures right here. So here is uh, Donkey Kong next to the new Samus and Link figure uh, that we got earlier this year. And then one more comparison, here is Donkey Kong next to the 6 inch Bowser figure. Alright, so that is going to wrap up this review on the Jack specific Donkey Kong figure. It's a pretty good looking Donkey Kong figure. For 10 bucks, I'd say it's okay. It's just not for me personally. I feel like the size of it is why I'm disappointed with it. I do like the head scope on this one more than the 6 inch figure. I think the head scope on this guy looks pretty good. So again, if you're looking for an affordable Donkey Kong figure to add to your collection, then I'd say pick this up. I don't know how much the other Donkey Kong figures go for, but I'll say for now, this is probably your best bet. So if you guys want to pick this up, it is currently hidden Walmart. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. And until then, take care, my friends.